Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm really sorry if I look really stiff on camera right now because I hurt my back or dito na side ng neck ko sa gym the other day. Hindi sana talaga ako film today, pero I promise you guys a 20k giveaway and I have to film that. So now I'm getting ready. Sabi ko, if you film ko na lang yung concealer na technique ko. Actually, this is not my technique. I just want to throw that one out. Hindi ko to technique. Nakikita ko lang to sa mga makeup artists sa YouTube. In case you haven't seen them or in case hindi nyo nakikita yung mga video na yun, then I'm here to teach you you on how to prevent your concealer from creasing. First, I'm going to talk to you about your lines under eyes. Wala pa talaga akong concealer na nahanap na miraculously nawawala talaga yung mga lines mo under your eyes. Your lines are always going to be there unless you get an eye filler or you get an eye cream na mago work sa under eyes mo. So far, wala pa akong nakita talaga. Someone suggested for me to get the Kiehl's one. I'm not sure na yung pangalan. Kiehl's Night Recovery something something. Nakalimutan ko lang talaga. Maybe I will go to Kiehl's section and I will try to buy that kasi my under eyes are looking crazy. As in, marami na talaga akong lines dito. Because as what I said before, I keep rubbing my under eyes. Nagiging habit ko na siya, which I need to stop na. Kasi if I do that, of course, I'm gonna see more lines. More and more and more lines. On the left side of my face, I will show you yung mali kong ginagawa before. Kaya nasusobrahan yung caking and nasusobrahan yung under eye creasing. On the right side of my face, I will show you the technique that I just found out recently. As in, bago ko lang to ginagawa sa mukha ko and it works wonders and it works well well on me. I hope it's gonna work on you as well. I'll start with this moisturizer slash primer right here. Akala ko talaga moisturizer lang to, but nakalagay kasi dito, pwede siyang maging makeup base. So I'm gonna use this one as a primer and as a moisturizer na rin. Now let's apply the foundation and I'm going to use the Matte and Poreless Foundation from Maybelline and if you're wondering kung anong shade ko, I'm in the shade 120 or Classic Ivory. This is a tad bit lighter on me but it's okay because I can make it work. Um, maybe you're wondering why are you showing me the foundation routine na tapos ka naman nag-show sa amin na foundation routine? I'm showing you this because this part is important and ito yung ginagawa ko before. I'm going to put the foundation on the left side of my face first. So done with the left side of my face and can you tell me ano yung ginagawa ko sa left side kanina pag apply ko sa foundation ang mali. I will give you two seconds to guess. One, two. Ang mali na ginagawa natin all the time is that whenever we apply foundation, nilalagyan natin kasama yung under eyes natin or yung eye area natin. Diba? Ganun naman tayo. Like, every time we put on foundation, parang hindi natin naiisip yan. Diba? Parang lahat dapat lagyan. Pero, the more you pile on products pala under your eyes, then the more it's gonna look cakey, then the more it's gonna look heavy. Or nagsisettle siya or nagbe-break siya in the middle of the day. Yun yung ginagawa ko talaga all the time. Like, when I put on my foundation, wala. Nilalagyan ko lahat, pati yung under eyes ko. And I will show you my technique that I do recently on the right side of my face kung paano ko nilalagay yung foundation na para hindi siya magpapile ng bonggang bongga yung sa under eyes ko. What I do is that iniiwasan ko yung under eye area ko. I will let the concealer hide the darkness that I have in there. Okay, I forgot to press the record button pala. I was like talking and talking and nakalimutan ko i-press yung record button again. And ito yung gagamitin natin today is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. No matter how creamy your concealer is, you guys, even if it's not full coverage, the more you pack it on, the more it's gonna look cakey. So, ito yung ginagawa ko dati kung bakit sobrang cakey ng under eyes ko. And then when I see, when I tilt my head like that and nakikita pa yung darkness ko dyan, nilalagyan ko siya ng concealer dito. I don't know, nakikita niyo na yun sa mga videos ko before, I'm really sure. Before, I don't believe in color correctors kasi akala ko gimmicky lang siya. You know, just for makeup companies to sell like products. Sabi nila, if you have panda eyes like mine, um, pwede daw yung orange na lipstick and I don't want to use my lipstick sa under eyes ko. Actually, bago lang to sa akin, it's the NYX HD Studio Concealer. I used to have the concealer and maganda tong concealer nila in fairness. Maganda din yung coverage niya. Um, but this one is a corrector and this is in the shade CW05. This has like peachy undertone. Mga four times ko palang to nagamit, guys, and it really works well on my under eyes. Ang dapat gawin is that you hide your dark circles first by using a concealer, not concealer, by using a corrector. So I'm gonna apply it here sa under eyes ko para makorrect lang yung darkness there. Instead of piling a ton of concealer, then I'm gonna use a corrector first, and then after a corrector, I'm gonna use a concealer. So hindi na ako nagpapile ng bonggang bongga ng concealer. 
ko. As you can see, na cancel na niya yung darkness sa under eyes ko. But of course, I need something to brighten up my under eyes. So I'm still gonna use the same concealer, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Isang beses ko lang siyang ilalagay. And then, okay na. So, ang ginagawa ko before, I always set my concealer with a powder na my coverage or yung powder na ginagamit ko sa buong mukha ko. So, I'm gonna show it to you para makita niyo yung difference. So, kung ano yung sinet ko sa mukha ko, yun din yung isiset ko sa concealer ko. Okay, so this is a powder foundation and this powder foundation has a coverage. So, ilan na yung pinatong ko sa under eyes ko? May foundation na, may concealer na, meron pang powder foundation. So, pinapatong-patong ko yung mga products sa under eyes ko. So, normally, nagkikake talaga siya. On the right side of my face, I will use this Coty Airspun and this is in translucent. Actually, mas better talaga if you use a translucent powder. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. I can feel that this one feels really light compared to this side. So yes, as you can see, dito nakikake na siya because I kept piling and piling products. But this side right here, yung sinet ko, translucent siya. So that means wala siyang coverage. So it feels light on the skin and hindi pa siya nakikake. Although magsiseto pa rin yan sa lines mamaya. But if you compare it sa left side, it's gonna look worse. Like this area will look worse compared to this one. I will do check-ins later. Papakita ko sa inyo anong mayyari. Like after two hours, four hours, and six hours. I don't know if kakayanin ko hanggang six hours, but I will try my best. So I will just finish the rest of my makeup and I will talk to you later. Hello guys, so I'm back after three hours. Ganito na yung under eyes ko. So the right side, ito yung hindi ko pinapile yung mga products. And here, sa left side, I don't know if you can see any difference, but I can totally, totally see the difference. I'm gonna pull you in closer, and that is how it looks like. Sabi ko sa inyo pag may lines na talaga hindi talaga yan na erase through concealer, kasi meron ka na talagang lines. But this side, you can still see lines, pero hindi siya ganun kapangit. Unlike this side right here. Dito mas grabe siya, mas cakey siya, and mas nag-sink in siya. Kasi marami akong pinayal na products on the left side. Hello guys! So this is my last check-in because I still need to edit the video para ma-up na siya tomorrow. And this is how my under eyes look like after four and a half hours. So this is my right side. And this is my left side. As you can see, mas grabe yung caking dito and mas grabe yung creasing. <laughs> So I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope nakatulong tong technique na to sa inyo. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And may your brow game be as strong as your coffee today. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.